he could try to get us there. How was the transition away from uh, our boy Bastaccia? Rich, man. I miss Rich. I know. I miss Rich. I, I called Rich the other day. He's doing well. He's down there in Florida with uh, with his wife and his dogs, and he's just hanging out. Uh, it's it, it was a good transition. It, it was good. And uh, I, I think we could have kept Rich. I think we could have, but it, it might have split allegiances in a certain way. Like so many people felt so strongly about Rich. We just needed a, we just needed a start over. We just needed a refresh. He's one of the best special teams coaches in the league. And he was a damn good head coach. Stuff, so I think it was like $2 million in Green Bay. Yeah, he's, and he was a damn good coach when we had him. Head, head coach when we had him. Uh, and you know, you know better than most. Uh, but he, he's a special human being and, and we miss him like crazy. He's awesome. Yeah. Are you excited to get in this McDaniel system with the whole double tight end, everything else? You look out around there, I mean, you got you, you got Darren, like both the boys are coming up in contract situations. Um, are you excited to go into like this system in this year? Yeah, uh, I definitely am. Um, I, again, dude, it's, it's detail like I've never had. And it's, that's what guys told me who've played like- Detail, like give an example of detail that you've never had. So like just talking about how to, I mean, I've known and Not that to, old coaches didn't have it. It's just, how, it's just, uh, it's just emphasizing on stuff a lot more. Like when I was, a Green, uh, a Green Bay reporter called when they just hired Basaccia and they were talking about why do you think Basaccia is a better, would be a better special teams coach than whether whoever was there or why he, they wouldn't have messed up and gave up this pump block or whatever else. And there's like all these like, uh, there's ways to remember things like associative, like where things just second nature and how Rich just always does such a good job. You're always aware of whatever situation you're in. Because it didn't look good when the, an old buddy didn't step out of bounds when he grabbed that ball in the Bengals game. Yeah. But it's details like that to where you know when you're in that particular situation because you're hitting it home all the time. Not to say old coaches don't, not to say every coach doesn't harp on it, but there are some coaches who like live in certain details often, a lot more, and get very specific. So like what are like details that you're like referring to when you say there's a lot more detail than you've ever had? So like for me, a lot of the times I, I, I know the coverage and like I pay attention. I'm, I'm looking for role, I'm looking for safeties. Like I'm trying to discern what's going on when I'm route running. A lot of the blocking stuff kind of takes care of itself off the mic point and whatnot. But um, we're not really we're not really running shit as like independent contractors anymore. Like we're meeting we're meeting as a team. Like it's not really position groups. It's not this. Like we're meeting as an offense and we're watching the film together. And like everyone's getting the same correction. We're all going off the same thing. So so you're here with the wide receivers being taught. You're here with exactly running backs exactly. being told. So everybody's like, okay, this is why I have to manipulate my router so technique like, a little better. Like I'll hear our OC who also is coaching tight ends and receivers a little bit. His name's Mick Lombardi, uh, 32 year old, brilliant, brilliant coach. Um, and I'll hear some stuff that he's talking to Tay about, right? He's talking to Devonte Adams. We got Devonte Adams on our team, by the way. <laughs> Telling you. Tay, uh, Vont, Vont for people who are close to him. He loves to go by Vont. Okay. Uh, so, I'll, I'll hear Mick telling guys like, hey, how about you like counterattack his leverage, go to his outside and then break across, see if you can't spin him around and then take it across the field. And so me, I'm thinking like, that's detail that I don't really have in my bag. And sometimes I'll, I'll do it not even- Oh, I love bag talk. I'm telling you, like not thinking about it, but like guys have, guys have a bag and like my bag is very shallow. It's like, hey, fuck you. I'm going to go get the ball over your head and there's not much you could do about it. But like, yeah. if I could make it easier on myself to where it's not like, hey, fuck you, I have to go get this ball on top of your head and you can't do anything about it. Yeah. It's like, hey, fuck you, I'm gonna spin you around and look really nice and pretty and cool and then just catch a ball nice and easy in the back of the end zone. But and knowing that's what that Josh and Mick are doing. There'll be a method to the madness behind you doing something like that. Yeah. The moment you do it, don't worry, we're, we're gonna grab that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be shouting from the rooftops. Oh my guys, man. man.